But I, I don't God disagree damn. that it would be a great matchup because it is. Two teams that have been downtrodden longer for the Lions than Houston, but Houston went through a lot with the whole Deshaun Watson, and now all of a sudden they've got C.J. Stroud, rookie quarterback, new new coach. They make the playoffs. They get ousted. And obviously, we know what the Lions did. I think it would be it, – it's definitely one that they could sell. So there are some similarities. They both moved on from a quarterback, different circumstances, and used that haul to better their team, right? I mean, the Deshaun Watson right. trade helped them f- fuel some of what they're doing now. They both won a playoff game last year. Lions won two. Yeah. It's not a matchup I'm itching to see week one, but it is maybe an underrated game on the schedule f- once it comes out. Like, I don't know if that'll be a prime time. Or if that's just yeah. one of those, like, hey, 1 o'clock on a Sundays. But either way, yeah, those are teams in a similar tier. I, I think you could also, I mean, you could, there's a number of really good games on the schedule, but you could also go and reverse engineer this one and say, all right, what are the games that are just kind of meh? You know, and, and you don't really, you don't want to have a primetime start the season game with. And I would probably say Indy, not that they're a bad team, but it just doesn't do anything to, you know, raise the blood pressure no, a little bit, rise, no. you know, arise in the emotion. Um, we already talked about San Francisco, Dallas, Arizona. Eh. Nah. Yeah. Um, Minnesota, Chicago, Green Bay, and then obviously home. Uh, the Rams, uh, not uh, Seattle. Uh, you could you could generate some excitement there because of the success they've had at Ford yeah. Field, and you're trying to again. Yeah, kind of swing back the other way. I think the only other two games that you would be like, meh, would be Jacksonville and Tennessee. Yeah, but there's a world where they they know week one we've got you. It's the first week of the season. You're going to be excited for football no matter. What. Hey, guess what? We're going to put two NFL teams on a field. We're going to keep score. And it's going to count towards their record. You've been waiting all off season. We could put anybody out there, and it's going to do very well. There could be an NFL scheduling thought that we we don't have to start with our best game first. Um. Well, technically, they want to have the best game. Well, they will for the Thursday night. The Thursday the, night yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but like the weekend itself, they don't have to stack all the marquee matchups right away out of the gate. They got to space them out. Like last year when the Niners and the Ravens played, it ended up being two teams with you know, the one seeds attached. Potential Super yeah. Bowl matchup didn't work out that way. They might do that with certain games for the Lions going, oh, we know the Cowboy game has a baked-in storyline. We know the Niner game has a baked-in storyline. And there may be seeding in the NFC, so that becomes a second half of the season kind of schedule. Yeah, but it, it, it could also, I mean, it, it's all a gigantic formula mm-hmm. that they're going to plug in. And if they see some tweaks that they can make, can we move this game here? What do they have going on in that city? Does it work with the rest of the schedule? Um, that's where it's, it's going to be unique because I think the NFL, not only do they want to have a monster first weekend, set the tone for the rest of the year, but... I think they want to have as many good matchups because you can then hide a uh, Detroit versus Tennessee matchup on a day where it's going to be, you know, uh, uh, you know Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. You're right. It's a giant puzzle, and yeah. we shouldn't get too so there's, ahead of ourselves. We had a week. Yeah. There are other cities that play football no. other than the Lions. <laughs> it's news to me. Uh, ticket texture. I want the Niners, Cowboys, or Rams. Give me the Niners for the opener. Let's run it back at their place and finish this time. We want Chicago game one. Welcome the number one pick the right way. Yeah, put that helmet right under his chin strap. Bears week one, please. Another vote for the Bears. Give me the rookie. I want to knock his head off. Ryan in a truck, 17-0 Lions. Costa, why do you want the Niners week one? That's a loss. No, we don't think like that anymore. We don't, like last year, remember last year, I was like, hey, I don't know if they're going to win in Kansas City. We don't think like that anymore. They proved it. Come on, people. Hey guys, since they go to Dallas, you know every time if you play the Cowboys, you know you're not going to play there as the Lions on Thanksgiving. The Cowboys always play the Thursday after Thanksgiving too, so they could tether. Amazon. Yeah, would you want that? Two straight Thursdays. They did it once. That was the Aaron yeah, Rodgers. No it, doesn't, it, doesn't, Rogers. it doesn't make a difference, right? Yeah, it's no different than Sunday to Sunday. Right. Oh, I know. I'm just asking, just as a football fan. Right, and the delay. I mean, Sorry. there's still a. T- yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, <laughs> You don't have to apologize. The point is, sometimes Thursday... That was okay. I still like hearing it. The um, Thursday game, you have a short week, but you got to pay that off at some point. So whether you delay it two weeks from Thanksgiving or the week after Thanksgiving, you still have to deal with the short week leading up to it, right? 
Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be a short week, but then on the flip side, I keep saying this, you have that short week, but then you have basically a built-in extra bye week, yeah. uh, you know, Three following days. that. Yeah. yeah, 10 days. Yes. Like, you know, they can go to days. Dallas. They wear the whites Thursday night, Lions in black. Oh, so wow. looking slimmer. Looking slim, looking badass. Speaking of that, calling TJ Lang fat doesn't count. The dude's a meatball, reads the ticket texter. <laughs> he does have meatball traits. And uh, this one says, Jim might watch that movie. It depends how much the goose weighs. <laughs> That's right. Can it actually fly? Someone who listens to two minutes of the show today is going to have a very different uh, image of me. Well, you could have listened to the whole thing and maybe come away with the same image. Oh, I don't know. I, I think I've been done dirty by the people around me. I think this is a slanderous attack of my character and who I am as a person. Oh, come on. I mean, you kind of set yourself up on that. I one. always do. You know. How's they, the AC? Excited about the warm weather? I'm not. It's not supposed to be too warm, though. Got someone coming out today to look at it. Well, now it's not too warm. Before it was, you know, 70 degrees, and you got to turn your AC on in March. John, you know how this now, goes. It, now you don't even know if it was working. It was so cold outside. You have to mentally, I have to tell myself it's not going to be too bad. Yes. we got the windows cracked open. We'll run some fans. We'll slum it. We don't have the, the AC. The, the worst part is when you don't have the AC, and it's hot and muggy outside, and then all of a sudden you get a thunderstorm that rolls through, and you got to close the window so it doesn't rain on the inside. And you have a swamp. Yeah. Then the, all that hot air, stuffiness, mustiness, it's all stored inside. For people who want to know what we're talking about, we talked appliances. Two are not working in my house right now. Worst appliances, Odyssey app, Odyssey Rewind, or it will be podcasted. Yeah. Take a text. Guess which one that's not working. <laughs> you, can, you got one or two. Uh, texter says they need to travel to Dallas to open the season. It would be unbelievable. Cement Detroit as new America's team when they win by three touchdowns, Joe and Fenton. Yeah. Fired up today. Hey, speaking of uh, situations at home, you have one that we're going to get to coming up next. Oh, yeah. This is a, a, an issue that guys run into. Question of priorities. John's going to get out of here and go deal with that. We'll get to it next. It's 97 1.